I really, really love Christmas. When I was a kid, we didn't have a lot. And I always used to save up and buy a board game. And we still do that now. In fact, there was a riot in the Levy household last year because I suggested that we could play one of the probably 30 odd board games that we already had. But there's also another side to Christmas that kind of makes me a bit sad. Um, and it links in because of birthdays. And obviously it's Jesus's birthday, although I know we're gonna go down the theology of, it was in September, but that's just separate. And I, it makes me really sad, because as a kid, my birthday is in August. And back then we used to send out the invitations in July and we'd all break up for the summer holidays. And I'd wait for maybe my 30 classmates to come to my birthday party. And because it was in the middle of August, maybe at least half had forgotten. And they didn't come. Not because they didn't want to, but just because it kind of passed them by. And that's just kind of a bit like Christmas. I sat in Westfield the other day and just watched the complete madness of people rushing about, buying lots of stuff, spending lots of money, and yet they hadn't invited the person whose birthday it is with them. And that just really touched me. And there's a line of a song that's not a Christmas song, but it says about watching while sanity dies, touched by the madness and lies. And whilst I love an advert, and it's particularly the John Lewis adverts and all of those, it is quite sad really. But do you know what? I love Christmas because now I know whose birthday it is and I know how much God loves me. And I know how much he loves everybody that's rushing about, desperately buying things that they either can or can't afford. And do you know what? I just really hope that somewhere this Christmas, you kind of see a little bit of how much God loves me and how much he loves you. And that would make Christmas even better. <laughs>